The Sunshine Grace is finally in the game. And with an ability that just flat out increases your damage by 20%, of course I'm gonna have to honestly incorporate this Grace on every single one of my teams, especially because Mayo is the fourth highest CC character in the game, so it just goes in very easily on any of my teams. He has a very high attack stat as well. So obviously the first character I have to use with this Grace will be Ascanor. Now, is this Grace better than actually using Red Saurio? I don't know, actually. Ignoring 50% of crit defense is very strong, but there's always been an argument as in, if you're already using Ludusiao, for example, is there any merit to actually increasing uh, r any real damage by, by ignoring 50% of crit resistance? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no answer here. <laughs> Can someone tell me? Uh, so, I think we're using the right now, but I'm gonna actually just swap it up and uh, use other stuff too. I think there is a merit to both of them, and let's uh, let's just go in straight away to the Meliodas. How about that? I think there's a merit for both of them, and if you just want to use Red Saurio, because maybe you're not gonna six six Mile instantly, so using him as a link is not very favorable. But, again, I still think there's a, a discussion for just 20% flow damage, especially for characters that won't be critting, right? And we just full wipe this demon team. Because <laughs> you gotta remember, not all characters are gonna be critting all the time. So, like, let's say a character like Festival Merlin, right? The newer one. If you're using her with Echidna and Philo, you're probably gonna be using Red Saurio on Philo. And you might actually just have, I don't know, Tarmio link on Merlin, and what do you put on Echidna? Might just put the, the, the new link now. I think there is a merit for, uh, for that as well. So um, I, think, I think it's just a good addition. There's no need to be 100% comparing like the Sauria link to the Mael link. I think uh, if a character is creating all the time, it might actually be better to use Sauria's link. Ignoring 50% of crit defense is really great, actually. It's really great. You can see tangible results when using it. God damn it. I might just lose this match because I'll look at these cards. This is why I don't like using Green Galfrey Lodosiao anymore. This is exactly why, by the way. Look at this. Look at these cards. And I used I used two Galfrey cards. You can't tell me, oh, it's because, you know, you're only using Escanor cards. That's why you don't have any. Let's say I just, I just used two Galfrey cards. Um... He's going straight for Galfer. That's what I would do too. Going for Ascanor sometimes isn't the best. Let's just uh, make up space here. Could he potentially kill Meludusiel? I guess we'll find out. I'm actually just gonna go for the ult here. I don't. I didn't make any new space for Ascanor cards, um, which might actually come to bite me in the ass. Was it actually worth going for a Ludusiel ultimate? This ultimate kind of sucks. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Gonna have to hope that the uh, the Gaffer passive will give me enough attack that Ascular's card would do damage. Okay. This would just remove the fact that I get a shield, I guess. And that encroaches Gaffer. Sure. Sure. Let's do this. Make up space for Ascular cards, hopefully. This is going to do no damage, but let's see Askinar. Only issue is that, you know, Askinar's passive, uh, that he can't be stat lowered, actually... Ooh, we got the kill on both of them. With a level 2 AoE, that's actually pretty good. Like, Ludosiao's ultimate did no damage. <laughs> um, Askinar's passive, that he can't be lowered, isn't as good as Mael's passive. Because, uh, let's say I'm using the bar in the back and, um, and Galfer, right, Halloween Galfer. Um, if the enemy is using Chandler here, for example, when I attack, I do actually lose stats. I lose the stats I'm gaining from those characters. I don't lose my main stats, like my regular stats, the stats I begin with on the match, but I do lose those stats. So, it's actually, I think I can go, I can kill Chandler and Galfer here. I do lose those stats, but while my else passive, you actually just can't be stat lowered at all. They, they can't even lower additional stats. So, um, you know, even though 
he does have the like facing the Zeldris and like the demon team in general. I actually was losing a little bit of damage. No, <gasps> I didn't kill Galfrey. That's it's pretty crazy. I thought I wouldn't kill Chandler, which is why I went for Chandler. I was like, okay, there's no way I kill the Chandler. <laughs> And the Galfer at the same time if I go for Galfer, but my work if I go for Chandler. That's not exactly how it worked out. Damn. Okay. Uh, it should be alright though. We're gonna just go in and do this. I was trying to see if I can make the cards combine better, but no. Okay. Does my actually just kill Galfer? Not this card, but like the, the following? Yeah. yeah, it will. Okay. And then we killed the Askanar. So far, I mean, the damage increase... I don't know, I don't know if I can spot the difference between Saurio and and uh, Mayo, if I'm being very honest. Um, but he is hitting pretty hard. <laughs> what else can I say? He just he just hit hard. Uh, let me let me move on. I'm going to swap Ludosiel, because uh, I want to try all other stuff as well. And then uh, see what happens. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. Here, I can put on Red Sauriel Link and Mael, depending on which character I actually think is gonna be more worth having the, the ignore crit resistance. For me, I think King is actually more worth because he has a triple crit chance card, so he's gonna be critting every single hit. So instead, we're just gonna go with this, get a damage increase from King, and uh, hopefully still get crits even with all those CL. It was a fantastic time to swap from Ludociel because we're right now facing a team that cannot be lowered. Perfect. So we're gonna be going in on the Mael uh, because I think Liz is probably gonna have to harm Mael Link. And. Or maybe not. Maybe we should have gone for Margaret. Mael is pretty tanky. See, I missed most crits. So in that situation, 100%, my L link is better than Sauriel link because I missed both most crits. I'm, you know, not going to be constantly using Ludusia. I'm not going to be constantly attacking characters that I'm guaranteed to be creating every single hit. Now, for Eskinor specifically, I could be using Merlin link, which has terrible CC and way less attack. It would make my crits a little more consistent, but you know. A lot of characters don't have a Link like Merlin. Man, I wish Mael had Merlin Link. I think for him it would be fantastic. If he had the extra crit chance, it would be so good. Let's, uh... Hopefully King can get some crits here. Ah, uh, see, on this card it would be better to have Mael Link on King. Because I don't think he's going to get many crits, if any at all. I mean, these characters I'm facing here have insane core resistance, right? Okay, I got some crits here and there. That's, that's good, that's good. Then Askenor can come in for the wipe, except, I mean, Askenor himself is gonna survive, but we have King Shield, so. There is a getting used to when it comes down to all these characters now that can't be lowered, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times I'm playing for Luciel, and then I'm like attacking Askenor, like, man, I'm not critting Askenor, it's like, yeah, he can't be lowered, I'm like, oh, I have to catch myself thinking, oh yeah, he can't be lowered. You know what I mean? I think, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm hopeful it's not just me, and a lot of people also have the same issue where they're like, oh yeah, that's right, they can't be lowered, I forgot. Because, um, yeah, it's just like, it's a new thing. There, this wasn't a thing until Askenor came out. And with Mayo, it's even worse. Or, I mean, it's even more prominent because he just straight up cannot be lowered at all. Right? The whole team can't be lowered whatsoever. Which really sucks for Ludociel. I would not be opposed for them to drop a base Ludociel. A new base Ludociel, brand new passive, brand new skills. I don't remember his stats are good. I mean, he has high CC because of his relic. Um, I don't remember if his stats are good, like the uh, defensive related stats, because in, in terms of damage, he's never been a great damage dealer. That's not true, actually. When he first came out, I think, you know, if you gave him attack gear, he was actually pretty good for damage. Let's do this. And hopefully our damage increase will uh, allow us to do full wipe. I think so. It will be damage increase from King, attack increase from King, and damage increase from Mael. So the damage increase is uh, <laughs> all over the place for this team right here. This is exactly why I picked King, because there's damage increase from King and Mael combined. Sounds pretty good. It is kind of funny though, because when we first saw, you know, Mael revealed, so many people were like, this is the first festival link. 
<laughs> this is the first festival that's the the designated to just be a link. Uh, again, I, I do still think my always is really strong, and he's gonna be in the near future probably the best team in the game. I think Goddesses will be getting new characters soon if the devs aren't stupid, and they're gonna make Goddesses the best team in the game. Like ditch Liz, uh, Liz kind of sucks. I mean, maybe they can make her work. Goddesses mainly just need a back unit. Yeah, when you're missing half the crits, I think just having a flat damage increase of 20% instead of having uh, ignore crit, resist crit defense might just actually be better. And you gotta keep in mind when it comes to critting, right? I'm, I'm setting up Askinor pretty nicely here. I have Gearing Galfer and, and Bon. Like, I could be using Death Pierce, but that, that's unrealistic. He has dodge food. I kind of want to do this. Might be dumb. Because I, I don't think he will... Wait, I targeted Melee, right? <laughs> I don't think he will kill. No! Goddamn dodge food. Maybe I should have ranked up. Ranked up. Attacked with King to take out dodge. Should be alright though. He's gonna uh, disable Galfer, yeah, and then put on a counter. We're gonna attack with King, and then double attack with Askinor and kill Melee. So it should be okay. Now he also removed damage reduction. So, just do this. And boom, boom. Uh, Chandler should should be all right. Did the AOE first, but maybe I should have done the single target first. Nah, it's okay. I think Chandler survives this, but... Chandler's tanky, bro. Chandler's tanky. Oh, he has Tarmel- I just realized he has Tarmel on Chandler. So I'm gonna ask her about this, but it's fine. It's fine. If he kills Askinor, then I can just uh, easily kill that Dastarosa. Dastarosa is looking pretty dead right here. Like, if he encroaches him, which encroachment doesn't work on Askinor. Uh, but if he just kills him, then we can uh, potentially rank up. Oh, never mind. No rank up. Oh! Good. Uh, hmm. Or do we rank up King? Oh, uh, ranking up King sounds pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Level 3? I think this will still kill Asterosa. Yep. Yeah. Anyways. That was my L-Link. Pretty good. Definitely incorporated on like all my teams. So. Pretty nice.